Welcome back reinforcement learning. Uh, this session explained probability and statistics revisited. Okay, revise the probability and statistics. Uh, we are using the re reinforcement learning uh, problems. The probability and statistics are form a fundamental part of the machine learning, deep learning and reinforcement learning. Okay, this section we revise, revisit the key concepts, uh, explore the frequent and Bayesian approaches priors and posterior and expectations and variance concepts we are using in distributed DQN concept. So this, this concept we are using uh, distributed uh, deep Q networks. The first one is uh, we discussed the frequentist and Bayesian probability. The frequentist and Bayesian probability. The frequentist perspective, the frequency to probability is probability is viewed as the frequency of an event occurring or the infinite trials. For example, here the frequentist perspective is the frequency of uh, frequent of times the event is occurred. It is based on the frequent of event occurring or the infinite trials. For example, uh, probability of coin lending the heads, toss of a coin, number of events it happened, it is uh, dip, uh, gives the probability of the the coin is head or trail. The limitations in frequentist perspective is inapplicable to one of event. The single event we can't predict the, it is not applicable to the single hour event cases, one of event like predicting the election outcomes. The elections are happen uh, only once. So that in, it is in cap inapplicable to one of events like predicting election uh, outcomes. The Bayesian perspective. The first one frequent is perspective is the event of depend on it is based on uh, the event occurring frequent of uh, the event occurring. The second one is Bayesian perspective. The Bayesian probability is represent the degree of belief, degree of belief after the new information outcomes available. This is useful for single events. It is uh, frequentist perspective is not suitable for the single events. Bayesian perspective is useful for single event where the frequentist approach lacks practicality. This approach allows for the calculation of prior and posterior distributions where the prior representation initial belief, initial we call the prior probabilities. Then when event is happen, that is called a posterior reflex. It is update the beliefs after happening some event. The prior and posterior probabilities we are using in Bayesian perspective. Okay, frequent this perspective is, it is depend on completely number of times the event is happened and Bayesian perspective is depend on degree of belief. In frequentist versus Bayesian beliefs, the frequentist differences between frequent, uh, frequentist and Bayesian the frequent is probabilities are frequencies of individual outcomes. In Bayesian, probabilities are degree of belief. It compute the probability of the data given a model, the frequentist. Here, compute the probability of model based on data, that is the belief. Uh, use hypothesis testing in frequentist. Use the parameter emotion estimation or model comparisons in Bayesian. Is computational easy in frequentist? Here, computational some difficult. These are the differences between frequentist and Bayesian. The frequentist depend on number of times the event is happen. It is depend on degree of belief. Now, uh, prior and posterior probabilities. We concentrate on uh, Bayesian probabilities. Bayesian probabilities, we see in the prior and the posterior probabilities. The prior probabilities are initial beliefs about the likelihood of uh, outcome before seeing the new data, uh, seeing the new data. Initial initial state, the uh, prior is called a prior probability. For example, uh, for racing problem, the initial stage, each racer, each candidate has the probability is 1 by 4. After some event is happened, uh, that is called a prior probability is updated. The updated version of the prior probability is called a posterior probability. Updated belief after incorporating the new evidence is a posterior probability. So uh, that is the posterior probability which can then survey the new prior for subsequent updates. This posterior is the prior to the next level. Okay, this is the continuous process. In Bayesian inference, continuously refine the priors into 
post yes as data is received. So, initial state of the Bayesian is prior probability after some event is happened, it is updated the probability that is called a posterior probability. So, here prior probability, this is the prior probability distribution after some event is happened, this one is the posterior probability. So, expectation and variance, we in probability distribution we are using expected value or mean value, that is the expected value or mean value is the weighted average of outcomes, where a weights or probabilities, we calculate the expected average, expected of x is equal to e uh, sigma x into probability of x into x. So, how it comes 8 in 21, 17, 17, 21, the probabilities are 0 0.6, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. We calculate the sum into probability of x for x. So, we calculate the probability of uh, expected value using the sigma x into probability of x into x. So, variance, the variance is with the uh, spread of the distribution. It is the variance formula, variance of x is equal to sigma square. Sigma square is the expected value of x minus mu, mu is the mean value whole square. The variance is the square of the standard deviation. So, we are using expectation value and variance in probability distribution. So, one more variable we are using in probability distribution is random variable. Okay, random variable is a variable whose values depend on probability distribution. Here x is the random variable. In this example, x is the random variable. So, the variable whose values depend on probability distribution that is called a variable, uh, random variables. The tomorrow's temperature model as t is equal to t 0 plus e is a uh, temperature is a uh, random variable. Here e is a Gaussian noise constant. So, here we calculate the uh, we, the random variable is whose values depend on probability distribution that variable is called a random variable. Here discrete and continuous distribution in probabilities we are seeing uh, the discrete probability distribution and continuous probability distribution. In discrete probability distribution the finite the distribution is in finite uh, range. In continuous distribution it is a continuous distribution there is a no uh, fine limits. This is discrete distribution finite sample space the coin flips, the coin flips either head or tail. Example probability values stored in a arrays, we can store the probability values in arrays, the limited size. The continuous distribution, in continuous distribution infinite outcomes, here finite outcomes happen in discrete distribution, continuous distribution infinite outcomes, represented by using probabilities densities. <coughs> Instead of discrete values, we are using density values. Temperature ranges model using the continuous uh, probability distribution. Here, discrete and continuous. This one is the discrete. So, the uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, these are the discrete values, discrete distribution. Here, continuous distribution, it is the range. Okay, mean uh, this is the range from here to here. So, the temperature range from 0 to 40 degrees, okay, range. Here it is the discrete value, uh, the, what is the probability of head is the 0 0.5, uh, what is the probability of uh, die, uh, die rolling a dial is the 0 0.2 or 0 0.5, 0 0.3, the discrete value. It is the discrete probability and continuous probability. In continuous probabilities, the continuous values, it is the uh, densities uh, values. Applications in reinforcement learning, the probabilities and statistics we are using uh, reinforcement learning. These concepts are pivotal for understanding the distribution of Bellman equation, uh, distributional Bellman equation in reinforcement learning and by modeling the rewards as a distribution rather than dis uh, deterministic values, other than better handle uncertainty and uh, randomness. We are using uh, probabilities and statistics uh, in to solve the complex problems by using distributional uh, type of distributional uh, deep Q networks uh, for the Bellman equations and uncertainty problems we can solve by using probability distributions. And understand the probability and statistics in this deeper level provide the essential tool for the advanced machine learning and reinforcement learning task enabling the models incorporate uncertainty effectivity. The concepts reviewed here is for 
foundational for implementing the sophisticated approaches like distributional DQN that are dist DQN. So, we are using probabilities in distributed uh, DQN concept. Thank you.